Amber Tamlin is an actor. She's an activist. She's a poet. And guess what? She's a writer, too. Her new, may I hold up your book? Yes, please. Her new book aims to help people follow your intuition. It's called Listening in the Dark, Women Reclaiming the Power of Intuition. So it features personal essays from 15 women, most of them, many of them you know, including Amy Poehler, Huma Abedin, and Tamlin's own mother, Bonnie. I loved her story. Tamlin edited the essays and wrote her own. She joins us first on CBS Mornings to discuss. Good morning to you, Amber. Good morning. This is so great. It's a very easy read, and I think it's so relatable. But one of the things you point out is that sometimes we're taught to ignore our intuition. Mm. You're saying, no, do not do that, because intuition is what and does what. Yeah, so one of the things that I wanted to write about with this book was sort of the underpinning of all of these conversations we have uh, as women when it comes to um, rage and equality, all of the different feelings that we have. And the idea of nurturing this gut feeling that we have and what happens when we really think about that as a muscle, as an actual form of intelligence that we can use as much as we use rational thought. Mm -hmm. And once I started reading all these essays, I was completely blown away by the science behind it and how important yes. Important this is. I love what Huma says. She says you can have all the academics, you can have all the rationality, all the education, but sometimes it comes down to just doing what feels right. That's exactly and right. That is so true. Yes, and I think that there is so much emphasis on intelligence and knowledge as fact-based uh, rationale that we can look at, right. but there is this other part of us. There's this tool, this vital tool that is our physical bodies telling right. us things, what our gut tells us, what the inside of our voice is and what that has to say about our lives. Yeah, you, you mentioned the word gut. And, yes. And you write about trusting your body. The body knows first. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Why is it important to <laughs> listen to our bodies? Because we all get that feeling. Sometimes we listen, sometimes we don't. Well, I think especially, you know, Men's intuition is really fascinating to me and really a big important part of this conversation they because have I think They intuition. Men have intuition. Of course they do. I think Yes, Gail, we got intuition. <laughs> I knew I'm you just... would say that. I, exactly. <laughs> they did. I mean, you do, you know, but I think for women it's been much more um, suppressed and oppressed for for many, many, many years. Right. And so the important factor here is reconnecting with our bodies and what they tell us and we're sort of in an age when women are really told not to listen to their bodies mm. that they are not the arbiter of their own experience or their own physical livelihood. And uh, so to go against that and talk about intuitive process and intuitive intelligence is like this very vital tool in this moment for us to be able to think and feel and be connected to each other and to our own physical selves. Yeah. You come to the subject through your own experience and the tragedy of losing a mentor yeah. uh, and not listening to your body and then going back and finding out why. And, but then you've got all these essays from other people with their experiences. How did you go about including this, not including that? How do you edit somebody else's intuition? Oh, it's such, a, it's such a great question. I loved editing this. I think for me, it was really important to have different people, women from across industries, doctors, artists, activists, writers, um, who, were, who didn't necessarily know what the answer was, right? Because it's really hard for us to describe what that feeling is of intuition and, and, and our gut to, to yeah. really give it a definitive definition. And so I wanted women to say, you know, the, like, like Huma, when I approached her and she was like, I would love to do this. I have no idea what I'm going to write about. About, and I don't even yeah. know if I have a connection to my intuition. I said, great, let's write about that. <laughs> That's perfect, because right. this is not a book that gives answers necessarily. It's helping you to strengthen the muscle of how to ask questions. And, and intuition can work to tell you to do something. Yes. Also work to tell you not to do something. That's yeah. right. But how do you know, Amber, when it's intuition and maybe I'm just afraid or Ooh. maybe I'm just anxious? Well, there's a... We all have those feelings, too. Absolutely, and I think one of the biggest issues that women face is second-guessing themselves yes. and confusing intuition for anxiety, which is something that we feel often. But I think, again, there's a great conversation with America Ferreira yeah, America. that she and I have in this. It's like a, a conversation between friends. She's one of the most brilliant women I know, and she talks a lot about this as a muscle to be strengthened. Yeah. So the more that you lean on it, the more you use it, however scary it is, however you know unsure you are, it gets stronger and so your ability to trust yourself and to hear yourself strengthens over time. Yeah.
Yeah. And Gail, men do have intuition. I was reading this <laughs> book and I, I was, didn't, it I was speaking to me and then I'd come to a line. I didn't say you guys didn't have it. I said I was just posing the question. It was speaking Amber. to me and then I'd come to a line that it would mention women. I'd be like, oh yeah, that's right. It's supposed to be for women. Yes. But it's for everybody. But can I just yes, say yes. that I hope our young boys and I hope men read this book for I real because I, I think it's too. so important for us to see intuitive intelligence and trusting our gut through a feminine lens as well. It's, it's such an important part of who we are yeah. as a collective human race. Yeah. Now, you have a, a book, uh, one, a, a person who deals with animals and says animals always go with their, they, they have That's an true. instinct and That's right. They don't second guess yeah, themselves. Yeah, they're not making T-charts. Amber, it's right. <laughs> That's right. Amber, it's yeah. really good. Really Thank good. you. Thank Thanks, you so Gail. much for coming this morning. The name of Amber's book is Listening in the Dark. It's on sale now. It's on sale now wherever you like to buy your books. We'll be right back.